Welcome guys, you're welcome to another Nollywood gist. And today's gist is about actor Likon Latunji, who lost his wife last month. When I brought the news to you guys, well, I said the reason for the death wasn't uh, mentioned, but he has taken to social media to always talk about his wife and how he's being thankful to God, because that is what Christians do, that is what believers do. You have to th- thank God in all situations and yesterday was supposed to be his wife's 48th birthday and he went to a social media space to drop some posts and also pictures of his wife he said your death came as a big shock to your family it's like a landlord removing roof from his tenant's head during the rainy season tomorrow is supposed to be your birthday oh you alone unquestionable god we are missing you already Nobody to coordinate us again. And people were in the comment section to console him. Actress Umito Riola said, May God rest her soul and keep all God has blessed her with. Actress Biola Debayo said, May her soul continue to rest in peace. Sholako Soko said, Be strong, bro. May her soul continue to rest in peace. Okoyemi Ayola, Lawrence Shulanke, Ishao Bidemi. Tawa Adishefini also were in the comment section. And also, a user said, God, the wife to the widower, will continue to be with you. It will comfort you, take care of the kids, and stand by you. You will not be afraid in Jesus' name. Rest in peace, they says. While another actress, Omolara, said, Please be strong, big brother. May I so continue to rest in peace. And someone said, mm, Nobody to coordinate us again. Makes me teary. In another post he made, he said, I would have been thinking of what to do a few days before this special day of yours. I would have been seeing you make preparations for your special day because you were big on birthdays. I would have been smelling different aromas because something big is coming your way. I would have been hearing things like birthday mimbo. Ah, ayami, elieto shele simi yi boju. I would have been hyping the birthday girl. My lady, my friend, and my lover. But I miss your touch. Your kisses, our jokes, our fights, our love, and now ourselves and the kids' family together. If I ever knew I would refer to you in past things at a time as this, I would have made efforts to avert it, but God remains supreme. If Fedola you lived an impactful life and have taken a bow from life stage. I miss you every day and now see you in my mind and converse with you in my dreams. Still, God remains unquestionable. Keep singing and dancing with the angels, I am me. Keep resting your soul in the bosom of your maker, Lulu Femi. The assurance of sin on the resurrection morning makes me say, Iku, Damiluru, Odojuala. 48 goes us to you in heaven, my darling wife. And in another post he made, he also said, Happy posthumous birthday, Omomu Miola Sunji. You are a remarkable woman whose light continues to shine brightly in our hearts. As you approach your birthday on October 2nd, it's the perfect time to reflect on the many wonderful qualities that made you so special. You are a beacon of kindness and compassion. Your genuine concern for others touched everyone who had the privilege of knowing you. You had a way of making people feel valued and loved, leaving a trail of smiles wherever you went. Your creativity knew no bounds. You had an artistic spirit that breathed life into every project you undertook. You had a profound love for nature. You found solace and beauty in the world around you. You were a devoted partner, friend, and a nurturing family member. Your presence brought warmth and unity to those fortunate enough to be in your circle. As we celebrate your birthday, let's not dwell on the sadness of your absence but instead embrace the joy of having known such an extraordinary person. Omomi Olasunji, you were a shining star whose legacy lives on through the countless lives you touched, and your memory will forever be hedged in our hearts. This was the post he made for the wife on his birthday. And the actress Kemi said, Kemi Afolabi said, Chai, this beautiful woman with a heart of good, always smiling and very supportive. Many other people were in the comment section also, also to console him and wish his wife 
a posthumous birthday. Guys, that is it today on Hakto Lake on Latsuji. We pray the Lord continue to strengthen him and the kids the wife left behind for him. I'll see you again in another one. And do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed. Bye.